So I'll, I'm gonna come back to this, uh, but first a little background. Um, hi. So a couple of years ago, I made a video about a stomp box porch board for less than $10. And it sort of surprised me, it was one of the um, most uh, watched videos I ever made. Well, time has gone on and the tinkering that began uh, a couple of years ago has not stopped. It's gone through some weird iterations. This is more or less the final product of what I had done before, but I've actually taken the electronics and stuff out of this um, because I stopped using it. It's actually kind of large and um, I had to have something else behind it to support my heels. But I learned a lot from making this. The surface you're hitting actually matters. I learned a little trick that if you stick a coin, whoops, that's not a coin anyway, it's chocolate. You could Velcro a quarter onto your shoe and get some extra snap. And I learned that, you know, a lot of what was making it so big was kind of unnecessary. So I decided to see if I could start over and basically make the components myself. And that began a very long and deep dive into the world of electronics, which I had never done before. And let me tell you, if you're a total nerd like me, and you wanna like use up every possible bit of expendable time that you have, I strongly encourage you to YouTube uh, some electrical engineering videos. I knew that I could get, you know, a basic piezo, see if I can find one of those. Piezo, transducer. Maybe you can see that, I don't know. Starting over, way too much detail. You don't care about all this detail. Maybe you do, I don't know. The goal was basically to attach this to something like I had done before and then figure out the engineering that I needed to do electronically to make it sound more or less like what it was supposed to sound like. So fast forward through many YouTube tutorials, trials, Amazon shipments, and I made this Model 2, Mark II. It has a large piezo pickup, some felt, but here's the, here's the problem though, then I started getting picky. I wanted some volume controls. I learned how to make a passive low pass circuit. I learned a bit about Electra microphone. So I thought, okay, wouldn't it be cool then if I can have this little hockey puck shaped thing, had a microphone inside, put this thing on the ground, plug this into the side of this guy. Voila, I have something that's picking up like sort of bassy thump sound and something that's kind of listening to what my other foot is doing. And I was so proud of myself. I mean, look at the inside of this thing. It's got like, circuit boards and stuff, switches and batteries, except it didn't really sound that good. And I came to the conclusion that I'd probably just been trying a little too hard and I needed to simplify. So I went back to the drawing board and I thought, okay, this little guy using entirely free samples of laminate flooring, it's just one pickup a jack and a little bit of electronics in between. It's nice and small and compact and stuff like that. Um, yeah, this also didn't sound very good. This had a serious like sweet spot issue. You really had to tap it in just the right spot in just the right way. So I went back to the drawing board again and this is what I finally came up with. Two pieces and I've been using it for almost a year now, and I'm very happy with it. This piece is literally just a thin piece of wood with some felt pads on the bottom so that it doesn't move around so much, and so that it's the same height as this, which is the main stomp box. This has three different piezo pickups. My heel goes on this end, my toe goes on this end, more or less around where this piezo is, but these two are kind of picking it up as well, and they're all combined. So it helps to reduce that like sweet spot problem I was having where only one spot sounded good. This is a little bit more forgiving. And then I've got a very simple circuit here. Well, I'll show you a close up of that later. Which is basically just a capacitor and a resistor making a very simple low pass circuit to filter out the higher frequencies before sending it to this jack. Now, I used this for a long time and it worked great. I could plug it straight into the board, didn't have the sweet spot issues. And with this board, I was, it's loud, it works. And this wasn't amplified, but that was really fine. Then enter COVID. 
now suddenly the church is streaming. So I start using one of our basic vocal mics and I just stick it on the floor and I'm using that to sort of pick up the sound of this, mostly for the sake of our live stream, being able to hear both sides of what I'm doing with my feet. But that was a little clunky and I started remembering back to this solution and thinking, okay, maybe I can reapproach this idea of mixing microphone and the stomp box into one signal. That led to this box. This is a component I can add to my system if I want to. It is an Electret microphone powered by a couple double A's and then a couple variable resistors to mix the signal coming from the microphone and the signal coming from the stomp box. And now you're really probably sick of me talking, so I'm gonna plug all this stuff in and I'll show you what it sounds like. That would be better, right? So that is the raw sound. It really doesn't sound that impressive. The stomper is very low frequencies, just a low thump. So you really need some real subwoofers to have this be heard. But that being said, um, a little EQ and some compression and it can sound like this. And then add a little bit of reverb to, you know, simulate how it might sound in the room. Now I'm gonna connect the other module here. Now right now it's not actually turned on yet and I don't have a switch or anything, but I do have a little plastic piece. So I turn it on by just taking this little plastic piece out. Now the electric microphone is on, picking up my voice. But anyway, now I can do something with my other foot and it will pick it up. So for example, Now, that's pretty loud, and I've got this other thing for my foot. It's called a finger shot. It's supposed to go on your hand, but I put it on my foot. Oh, and I can stick a quarter on that as well. Handy dandy Velcro. I messed up. But anyway, you get the idea. You need a good sound system to run it through. If you can do some effects, it sounds even better. Uh, but it works and it's fun. And it's no replacement for a full drum kit. Um, you're not gonna get like a real rock groove out of this contraption, but it's a little extra percussion, a little extra interest. Now, you may wanna know some of the details 
I'm almost hesitant to give you them because I'm not really an electrical engineer and I was literally figuring this out by trial and error. So with that said, here is what the circuit looks like for the stomp box part of this contraption. And here's what the circuit looks like for the electric microphone slash mixing module unit. Um, honestly, I'm not even sure if those circuit diagrams are right. That's how not smart I am about this. If you are smart about this kind of stuff and have suggestions um, for improvements, because I'm sure I won't stop tinkering, feel free to leave any suggestions or comments in the comments. So until I make version five or six of this thing, uh, I'm going to keep using this and we'll see you next time. Bye.